What's up, Technology family? Welcome back to another episode of the Technology News Talk. And today we got some more news and updates for you guys today. So without further ado, let's get started, shall we? So, as of most of these uh, uh, announcement updates, I will be coming in the, the, this week and also next week when my co-host Ty will be on next week. So, what I refer to that, let's get started with the, today's episode. So, we officially got the movie slate releases for the phrase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And it's been a while since, I don't know, an entirety, since it's, it's the whole pandemic situation, it's been a whole entirety. I was, yeah, since um freaking Spider Man Far From Home is the last time we ever saw MC in the theaters. So it's been a while, but we finally got some clarification on what's gonna be happening in phase four of the MCU. So starting with Black Widow, was gonna be coming out on June 9th of this year. And then also this year, we're getting Shane Chi. And the Legend of the Ten Rings will be coming out in September 3rd. And then in November 5th, we are getting the Eternals. And then last but not least for, for this year, uh, we are getting Spider-Man No Way Home on December 17th. So that's our four uh, mo uh, movies that's going to be coming out this year. So let's go on to 2022. First off, we have Doctor Strange. In the Multiverse of Madness. On March 25th. Then we got Thor. Love and Thunder. On May 6th. Then. Black Panther. Wakanda forever. On July 8th. And lastly. The Marvels. On November 11th. So that's our. Releases for 2022. So let's move on to uh, the 2023. We got Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania. On February 17th. And then Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. On May 5th. And then. Uh, the last announcement. Was Fantastic Four. Even though they didn't have a release date. Uh, they didn't announce the release day. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be released in, in 2023. So I don't know why they just just, just put the year out, out there. But I think it may only make sense to like to give it like the full release down in there. But I highly uh, expect that Fantastic Four will be released in 2023. But um, we'll just have to see well, when it comes down to when we come down to 2022 and we get more um, further updates as far as with Fantastic Four. And sticking with um with Marvel, in case um we already had WandaVision. We already had Falcon in the Winter Soldier. So originally Loki was supposed to come out on uh, the new Loki series was supposed to come out on Friday, June eleventh. But we are getting it two days early. That's right. We are getting two days early as it now will premiere on Wednesdays, every Wednesdays, starting on June 9th. That's going to be interesting. So they're, they're saying that Wednesdays are the new Fridays, according to the Loki series. But so um, we don't have to wait till, for, till the weekend to see, uh, to see Loki. So we have to wait, see it on Wednesday. So it's going to be very interesting to see how that the book progresses, but um, uh, moving on, uh, uh to, to our next uh, topic. So, as you already know, um, with the whole deal with Paramount movies, that if, it were, if one of the Paramount films if released in theaters, then after that 45 day window, then it will be released on Paramount Plus. But now we are getting a bombshell announcement that starting next year. In 2022, that Paramount Plus will have a new movie every week in 2022. So, 
but this here is the announcement that's uh, that's coming from screen crush is uh, as follows the streaming wars are getting so fresh that it's not enough to have a big library of uh, titles and cheap monthly price you know they're going to knock some hood of attraction to subscribers Netflix has got a ton of possibility when they have announced a new movie will be released uh, will be streaming every single week in in the year of 2022 HBO Max made a splash by premiering every single one of their Warner Brothers 21 releases on the same day as they release in theaters Disney Plus has brought Star Wars and Marvel franchises to streaming on goes the series the latest streamer rep uh, to, to pitch to the viewer is Paramount Plus in an attempt to compete with those bigger sites they announced that a lot of movies in the coming months, according to Hollywood Reporter, their plan is to release a, a new original movie every week in 2022. Before that, they got Infinity, a Mark Wahlberg sci-fi picture, was originally planned for theaters. This film was first scheduled for August uh, uh, 20, uh, 2020 release, then it got pushed to September. But instead, it will go straight to Paramount Plus next month. So, I would have to say this is going to be a good move for uh, Paramount Plus. Um, I just want to see how it's going to be progressed. Is that going to get more people excited to come to, uh, to, to Paramount Plus? I'm like, um, even though the streaming service uh, um, have already started, I put out my review before in the, in the previous episode about Paramount Plus. Uh, I got Paramount Plus in and... Um, it turned out really great, and um, I'm just gonna. I'm very interested to see how Paramount are gonna release our new original movies every week in 2022. So that's gonna be um, uh, very interesting. And then, last but not least, so for all my horror fans out there, much like DC and the Fandom event, Blumhouse launched their own Blumfest last October. Packed with a first look previews of the upcoming Blumhouse films, including Hollywood Kills. This coming October, we have learned that you will be able to join Blumhouse for another celebration composed of vir vir vertical panels, sneak previews, updates, and news announcements from your favorite genre movies and TV shows, which will help get you through the scariest days. The second annual Blumfest will take place on October 1st. 2021 and with Hollywood kills arriving on, on October 15th we're thinking you won't miss this one so this is gonna be very interesting um, you already know I'm really looking forward to Halloween kills so um I can't wait to see what blah has uh, on their plate but um it's gonna be uh, very, very interesting but um uh, that's far for, for our topics today so um Leave me uh, in the comments below if you're watching on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts and opinions uh, what on the news announcement that was to uh, um, mention today. And of course, um, if you're listening on Spotify, Anchor, or Google Podcasts, uh, go to the description below. Go to the YouTube link and post your um, thoughts and opinions. But um, yeah, further than that, this is Trico, and I'm signing off. Peace.